I was like, hi, the magpie. And thank you for deciding to start your year here with me. One might even say, it's good to have you back. So this video is just gonna be kind of rambly. I, uh, I wanna present something that I'm actually really excited about. I've never seen it done before. So you would have to let me know in the comments if you've ever seen any other brand do this. And I wanna talk a little bit about it, but I also wanna talk a little bit about 2024, I guess. Because 2023 ended up being kind of stressful for me. Really didn't necessarily end on a high note, cause I got like really sick. That was weird and hilariously looking. But uh, before that, however, like a, a couple of months back, I would say now, I made a video releasing like a ton of new gear into the Magpie Pedals universe. So magpiepedals.com, link is in the description. Actually, I could take this opportunity to say that right now I decided to do a start of the year sales. So I'm putting out like all of the things that I'm not gonna make any more of at all is at least in, is the plan. All of those things, I'm like dropping the price because I just want you who maybe ha have wanted to get them for a long time, like now's the chance in that case. On top of that, just a, an enormous thank you for continuing to support me. It's such a strange thing that is just so ridiculously rewarding. Uh, like you making it possible for me to literally create things with my own brain and hands like these. And that is my livelihood. Like it's, um, yeah. Anyways, I released a lot of stuff and I was so excited. I was super hyped to start like putting out videos, exploring them, you know, I gotta make like a demo video for each and everything because I gotta have that on the website also. So if you stumble upon the web shop and then you're like, ooh, that thing looks cool. I wonder what it does. I kinda need to have a video for each individual thing. But before I really got into that, I was in a conversation with my great friend, Analog Weapon, who I've had the podcast with. We have sort of created, and I'm not gonna spoil too much about this, but we've created this little team where we are developing things together for 2024 hopefully and it's just gonna be this yeah let's yeah we were in a conversation uh and we were discussing like how could we design stuff blah 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 and we came up with the idea of putting pcbs on the enclosure and that's nothing new that's been done a lot before like that's why we sort of started talking about it because i could show a bunch of examples and i also think it's something that is somewhat popular to do in the Eurorack world. However, what I have never seen done before is that you actually turn those PCBs into functioning PCBs. I think the primary reason to why people do it is because it's kind of a cheap way to get screen printed labels of sorts, like faceplates, I guess. Probably actually cheaper than ordering anything else screen printed, which is kind of silly when you think about it. But yeah, I saw it as kind of a waste that none of these things that exist out there actually have a functioning PCB on the top. So I had to go super all in and develop a new circuit and come up with all of these uh, like really funny ideas. Like they're all on breadboards. I've been breadboarding more than Moritz Klein <laughs> the last couple of months and just coming up with really like a simple but as fun as possible little synthesizers and noise thingies and effects also like a guitar pedal and then designing them in a way where it's somewhat super easy for you to put them together. So I'm, I don't have manuals for it and I'm never actually gonna spoil what they are. So they are complete Easter eggs. Like even this tiny, tiny one here. You can just take that off populate it, and then you have a second thing just from ordering this one, one of these, or all of them. And then of course you would have to, like if you take this one off and you populate it to have the thing that it is here, <laughs> then yeah, you would have to come up with your own design, I guess. So that's just part of it, like very much leaning into like the hacker DIY aspect of it, you know? And it's been really, really fun to get into uh, like unlocking a second 
type of design or whatever, because all of the old ones are like this, where these letters are actually hand stamped. So I, I go in and I hammer like a woof, very strong person. So yeah, I'm curious to know, have you ever seen PCBs on top like that with actual circuits? Because I might be onto something. <laughs> However, uh, just to sort of, I don't know, I don't want to round 2023 up really, because that's, you know, that's last year. Who cares about that? Uh, let's look ahead instead. Um, I have very big plans for 2024 in regards to this type of thing, but I don't want to lose this type of thing on the cost of that, which is something that I have, I simply haven't had the time. And I know like the last video I, I made, I sort of, I don't know if I ended it, but I think I mentioned in there that fuck yeah, I'm finally ready to start making more videos now. And it's something that I have been excited to do. Like I have so many things that I want to explore, like lists upon lists, but they're simply, yeah, I'm very torn between focusing as much as this deserves to be focused on and also being able to do all the other things that I wanna do. So my hope for 2024 is to create a routine. <laughs> and as simple as that might sound on the surface, that's really, 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 really hard when you, I happen to be in the position where I have to make all the executive decisions for uh, how I spend my time. But my idea is to cultivate the fact that I'm posting this on a Monday and just calling it Magpie Mondays. And hopefully, like we're gonna see how long I last. I think just the fact that I really like the ring to it uh, might motivate me to just release a video every Monday from now on. And I wanna see how long I last. I know it's a, it's a big ask from myself based on just how busy I am with everything Magpie Pedals related, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna, and I know I'm not like known for production value or putting all like, the, oh, the very best long form videos ever, but it still takes a lot of time to make a video. So like every week doing a little bit, maybe checking out a toy keyboard that I have in my vast collection or doing a breadboard video, maybe doing some circuit bending, showing you some silly experiments, you know, stuff like that, then I can every Monday put out a Magpie Monday video. So it sort of falls in line. I really like the ring to it. So maybe that's a good motivator also to actually do it. Then if making a video can be like a one day thing that I do, then maybe every Sunday I make a video and then I edit it on the Monday and post it. So it will be like a scheduled thing. Would you like that? Some of you, maybe? Those of you who are still here? <laughs> so hopefully some of you who are still here uh, get excited about that notion. And on top of that, of course, I'm gonna go like five billion miles an hour into doing even more Magpie pedal stuff because yeah, 2024 might just be the year of the magpie. So I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who continuously supports me on this journey with all of the gear that I put out. Um, I think that as soon as I end up in a position where I don't have a million ideas for that, I can finally start tackling all the millions of bigger ideas I have for over here with you. Um, but at the moment, I just, you know, I have too many potentially great gear ideas, like pedal ideas, synth ideas, and stuff like that, that I want to accomplish. Like, it's so much more rewarding to an extent than making a video. I know that might sound, I don't know, constipated or something uh, for some people, but it really is. Like, realizing something like that and... The, even the process of like uh, putting these together by hand, like I can make only make X amount at a time. Like if I make 10 crazinators, that's like a lot of work to do that. And then 
putting that up in the shop and actually sending them out to you who decide to buy them from me is just it's a ridiculously rewarding way of making a living in this world um so yeah just all the gratitude in the world thank you so much for like literally making me able to continue doing that 